Hey, welcome to Thoughts from the Porch. I want to start by saying uh, I like Kamala Harris. Also, I want to say I'm not a Democrat. Also, I want to say I'm not a liberal, okay? I'm a centrist who leans a bit to the left. Uh, I did not vote for the current governor of Illinois, but that's neither here nor there. So here's the thing. I'm asking my friends, tell me what, what it is about Kamala Harris that you like. And mostly my response is, well, we got to get Trump out of office. It's not a platform. That doesn't mean anything. That doesn't tell me what Kamala Harris believes in. That's just a common fact. If we had a monkey that could hold a pen, that monkey would do better than Trump in office. So if her only recommendation, legitimate recommendation, is that she'll do better than Trump, that's not enough. I'm not a Joe Biden supporter. I don't believe in Joe Biden. Uh, I don't. I also don't believe the, that you know a lot of people are like, oh well, he's got dementia. He doesn't have dementia. People that don't even have college degrees are giving a medical diagnosis of the guy, who, despite what you think at his age, he's accomplished a lot. Here's the thing: he leans a little too close into uh, uncomfortable areas where he shouldn't be touching young girls. That repulses me. He repulses me. So no, I don't think he's, uh, I don't think he's presidential. Um, but but tell me why, tell me why Kamala is. I just like how she looks. I, I I'm gonna vote for her just so I can see her on news briefings, uh, and because, uh, you know, she's better than, than than the current president. I have a statue of a Buddha. You can't really see it on those videos. I have a statue of the Buddha. The statue of the Buddha would do better than the current president. So what my request to you is, if you're a Democrat, if you're a lefty, if you're a liberal, first of all, if you're still supporting Bernie, get over it. Your guy's weak. Your guy's weak sauce. He couldn't handle it twice. Get over it, okay? Just get over it. Period. Your guy couldn't handle it. Bernie Sanders has just proven himself to be this weak, ineffective guy again. So end of that story. Now your next thing is start going out and finding ways. Flood social media with all the positive things that Kamala Harris has done. You know, there's a lot of memes about uh, she's a cop and he's cop of And I saw one today that said um, the Democratic Party who hates old white men and cops uh, nominated an old white man and a cop. So... The Republicans are going to come after you guys. The Republicans are going to come after you guys with a vengeance because she's a strong, smart, beautiful woman, and that scares Republicans. You got to get better. You got to put up your dukes. But don't do it in a mean spirited way. We know that the current administration is shit. We know that the current president is shit. We know that the current vice president is the dumbest human being to ever shit in his shoes. What we need you to do is find ways to get people off the fence. You got a guy on the fence who he's going to vote for? Give him a reason to vote for Kamala. I know it should be vote for Biden, but let's, let's, let's figure out why. Let's figure out why. If, if someone sold me a Kamala Harris for vice president t-shirt, I'm buying that. I'm not buying a Joe and Kamala shirt. I'm not buying a Joe Biden for president shirt. I would support Kamala Harris for anything at this point. If you're, if you're watching this and you're against Kamala, by all means, tell me why. If you spout some lies or some Republican rhetoric, I'll know. But there's space down here to put links and links and links and links. Let me know. Give me, give me, give me all you got. Let me know about Kamala. Because right now, the only thing that people seem to think is that She's gonna be the one to beat Trump. I have a citronella calendar right here, citronella candle. That citronella candle would be a better president than Trump. And most important, don't forget to vote. Make sure you register, figure out how you can do it. If it's mail, if it's in person, just vote. Because if you don't vote, 
and make it four more years of an ugly orange stain. Nobody wants that. Trust me, nobody wants that. And I would say cut. <laughs> there we go. And nobody wants that. <laughs>